Hi. <laughs> I haven't even opened the gates yet. <laughs> Molly, I can confidently say that there are two things in life that I'm absolutely sure of. The first being that there is a God who loves us and wants to know us so much that he would send his son to die for us. The second being that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Caleb, I remember before our first date at Carabello, pacing around the house because I was so nervous. And I had no idea as I was walking up to the front door that I would be meeting my future husband for the first time. But throughout the course of our relationship, there were things that stood out to me and made it so clear to me that you're the only person that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> Molly, when I think about you, I'm given a glimmer of God's providence and faithfulness. I see a woman who wants to know God and make Him know. I also see a woman who loves me and wants to know me for who I am. The gospel is evident in the way that you love me. Oh. <laughs> Caleb, you're Caleb, you feel like home. The way you love me is a glimpse of how much more Jesus loves us. Caleb, I promise to cherish you when things get hard and messy and ugly, and I promise to point you to truth of what Scripture says. I promise to love you and lead you to a holy life, and I pray that when we get to the end of our days that Jesus looks at the two of us, and he says, well done, good and faithful. This idea of sacrifice, it really is a kind of death in a beautiful way. And you've, you've already done that in giving your life over to Jesus Christ and not looking back. It is the same thing, it's, it's one more movement in the same dance that you would give your lives to each other and the two would become one. Caleb, I promise to love you throughout the highs and the lows. I promise to trust you and love you through it all. I am thankful we have a team of people who love us and a God who is so for us. I'm so excited to see what the Lord has in store for marriage and I'm so excited to walk alongside you in it all. Cheers to forever. Molly, I promise to love you and cherish you I promise to push you towards our Creator, and I promise to lead you. I promise to love you even if you get on my nerves, like when you have to be touching me when we're in a booth for dinner, <laughs> and you tell me to suck it up because you're cold. <laughs> my life is so much sweeter because of you. Lastly, I promise to choose you every day forever. I love you, Molly. Caleb and Molly have pledged their faith to each other and have committed their lives before God and His company. So by the power vested in me, by God and by man, I now pronounce that they are man and wife. And then the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Caleb. It is my honor to present to you for the first time publicly, I was like, what in the world? Okay, so he must be special. I texted her a few hours later and she didn't respond. And I was like, well, this is weird. It's either going really good or really bad. <laughs> and apparently it went really good. <laughs> There's no time, no time for stalling. The wide, wide is calling.
risk it all, you learn to feel uh, Caleb and I have always been what I like to call brothers who grew up as two only children. We're five and a half years apart. We're complete opposites of each other. But despite all these differences, uh, I love him with all my heart. Uh, and even though he's my little brother, I still look up to him. <laughs> as for Molly, <laughs> getting to know her has been uh, such a wonderful joy for myself and my family. Truly, as they said, what God unites, let no man separate. We are so thankful for the privilege to get to watch you guys a new chapter of your life where you share Christ as each other as one. And so, to Caleb and Molly, enjoy your ice mountain. Thank you guys. We love you.